Go on, Trevor. What are your what are your impressions of obviously you know, this is the first chance I've had to talk to you about after the whole coaching change, but the whole process the last few months, what's it been like for you? Well, this has been work. You know, I kind of I've kind of just uh, put my head down and work. You know, you know, even with all the cameras, I I, I even kind of try to avoid all that. But you know, I put my head down and work. That's, that's all it's been for the past couple months. What's it been like learning under Charles Kelly so far this off season? Uh, I mean, he's got a He's got an amazing resume, you know. It's it's uh, funny, you know. We watch film, and it'll be like, it'll be like Jalen Ramsey, and then it's uh, Derwin James, you know. It's Pat Sertain, like all the best DBs in the league, you know. Like he'll be like, all right, watch this guy do it, and you know. He, so it's like, you know, you can trust him because of all, because of all the people that he's coached and the products that he's made. Did you get your number today? Uh, yeah, I got my number today. Talk about your decision to, to stick with forty three, and, and was that a big moment for you having a new staff come in? Oh yes, it's it's, uh, it's validation kind of thing. You know, um, uh, 43 is just what I've always worn. You know, I think my freshman year was really the only time I've ever not worn it. Uh, you know, it's, it's what my dad wore in college and high school, so it's it stuck with me. You know, since I've been little. They're, they've brought in a lot of uh, safety transfers. Has that motivated you? Uh, no, nah, I just look at it the same way. You know, if I. If I was saying I was changing the way I worked, then that would mean I wasn't working hard before, you know. And so, so I just kind of try to keep what I've been always doing. To kind of go off that, are you guys still playing mostly two safety? Do you have any three safety looks uh, so far? Uh, it just depends on you know uh, which group, because I mean right now sometimes it's one, it's a safety at the nickel spot, sometimes it's a corner. Just you know, seeing seeing who works, seeing what works. You're working against uh, Travis Hunter and Jimmy Horn. A lot of new wide receivers coming in. What do those matchups look like, and are they more difficult than prior? And what, is, what do they look like overall? Uh, it's good work. You know, it's it's uh, the kind of guys we're going to see in game. You know, or even better than the guys we're going to see in the game. So, you know, it's uh, if you can make practice as close to a game as possible, it'll make the game that much easier. Uh, what challenges have you faced going up against such a high tempo offense on the defensive end? Oh, Got to stay conditioned. It's, it's tiring. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, there's a lot of running around, but uh, you know, if we get stops, you know, then we, you know, it lets us slow down a little bit. So, get stops. Do you notice a big difference just in terms of the overall talent in this program when you go out there now as you kind of think back to previous seasons here? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean, we brought in I don't know how many guys, but uh, you know, there's there's going to be talent that gets brought in. That's, that's for sure. There's more coming. Seems like you've been working alongside Cam, Sum and Craig. What's that partnership been like, and as you've been trying to get to know him off the field as well? It is good. Uh, you know, we have a lot of the same like, you know, we have a lot of the same like play style wise, and it's actually good because you know he's more of a vocal guy, so uh, I don't I don't have to say as as much like when we get into a huddle kind of thing. You know, I'm just more talking on the field. But uh, it's been good though. We work really well together. How do you feel like you've improved since last season? Uh, just uh, main. Mainly for me, you know, man coverage, uh, you know, playing against more re covering receivers more often than just mostly just tight ends every time. Uh, I feel a lot more comfortable with that. How would you say the buy-in has been from all the guys that have been here previously before Coach Prime was hired? The guys are buying in. You know, uh, people with all the coaches. You know, all these guys are NFL guys. You know, guys who have had success. You know, you know that they've done it before. So. You can really buy in, like you said, and believe what they're teaching us. What do you think are some of the biggest things that you learned last season with just the struggles that you guys had, and just obviously having to make a lot of open field tackles? What do you think was the biggest thing that you learned personally? Uh, well, it definitely made me better at open field tackles, but uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, just that was the whole adversity kind of thing. You know, uh, things are going to turn around. Trevor, the, the fans are obviously very excited about you know, what's going on here with Coach Prime coming in. Are you excited about it? And as you see that the spring game is sold out, and you know there was like 1,900 people here last year for that game, yeah. 45,000 this year. Are you excited about all this stuff going on? Of course, it's always great. You know, uh, I mean, we even when we weren't having success, you know, we were getting you know a lot of fans in. You know, if it, you know, if it can, you know, continue to be like that and even more, I mean, that's it's it's what you live for. That's what you play for. You know, it's it's awesome when you have you know thousands of fans, you know, rocking the stadium. All Thanks, Trevor. Thank you.